So, yes, go ahead. Because what we're trying to do is trying to find the exterior angles. And this is one thing I'm going to show you. So what about, if I understand that's the exterior and that's the interior, what about if I extend all of my sides? All right. And what about if I extend all the sides here? And here? All right, so if I extend, now we've talked about what are the sums of all the interior angles. So you think the common question then is I'm going to ask you, what is the sum of all the exterior angles, right? So what we need to do is rather than trying to think about, all right, before we get to all of them, we had that nice little formula for interior. Let's just go and talk about what is going to be the sum of one interior angle or one exterior angle. So if, I, if this is a, if this is a um, square, then if here's 90 degrees, what would you have to say this one's going to be, Nick? 90. Now, why would you say you know it's 90 degrees? What? Because what kind of angles are those? Um, or, uh, yeah. They add up to? Oh, they're, they're supplementary angles. They add up to 180. Why do you know they're supplementary? Um, make 180 they make a 180 degree angle because they make a straight line. Right, a straight angle, which we call what two angles that are adjacent make a straight line. We call a linear pair. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, we can say now this is going to be 90 degrees. And this one, 90 degrees. This one, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Right? So now let's add up all my exterior angles. If I add up all my exterior angles, that's 90 times 4, which is Taylor? 360 degrees. Very good. Now, let's go and look at a triangle. A triangle, these is what I call an equilateral triangle. Therefore, all the side lengths and all the angles are equal to each other. Right? Now, we know a triangle has 180 degrees. If I have three equal measurements, 180 divided by 3 is 60. 60. So, if this is 60 degrees, Jordan, what does that exterior angle have to be? If that's 60 degrees, what does the exterior angle have to be? Uh, now, why do you know it's 120? Right, and why do you know these two angles have to add up to 180? Because they are? They're supplementary. Why do you know they're supplementary? Make up a straight line, and they are a, a, they are a linear pair. Very good. So we have 120. So if that's 120, that's 120. And that's 120. So therefore, Robert, 120 plus 120 plus 120 is what? 360. Now, Daryl. I like to follow patterns. If a square, the sum of the exterior angles is 360. A triangle, the sum of the exterior angles is 360. What do you think might be the sum of the exterior angles of an octagon? 360, right? But let's go, before we just go and assume, let's go and see, let's go and make sure that's right. Now, we know, first of all, the sum of an octagon, we need to figure out what those interior angles are, though, right? Yes? So, what is the sum of all of our angles here in an octagon? Well, we know how many sides do we have? Eight, right? So what I'll do is first I'll say interior. So I'll say n minus 2 times 180. Well, since I have an 8-sided octagon, it's going to be 8 minus 2 times 180. So 6 times 180 degrees. So 6 times 180 is 1,080. That means the measure of all of my angles is 1,080. But how many angles do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I'm going to divide that by 8, and I get 135. That means each one of these angles is 135. Uh, 
Huh? N? No. What do you mean N? What? No, N is 8. And N represents the number of sides of the triangle, of the polygon. All right. So now, let's take a look at this. So if I know this, this is 135, then Megan, what does this have to be on the, at the exterior angle? Art, you know? If that's 135, what does that have to be? 135. What do these two angles add up to be? Guys, what do these two angles add up to? What do these two angles add up to? Yeah? 45. 45. Why? Because these two angles are supplementary. Why? They're a linear pair, right? I'm saying the same thing, each definition, over and over again. These two angles, your interior and your exterior angles, Megan, add up to 180. They're supplementary. They're a linear pair. So that means that's 45. That's 45. Does that mean all of them are going to be 45? Yes. So now I need to determine, well, how many exterior angles do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So now to find my final answer of the sum of 45 degrees, and Terrell said he wanted it to be 360, so 45 times 8 is, guess what? What do you think it is? 360. OK. There you go. Good job.